This is the Camo XO. Sweet. Thanks, FK. Game changer. All right, let's get going. What is up, guys? Whoa, Richard, relax, sir. I am Tyler Nolan. Welcome to my shop, Sunshine State Tattoo. I have been tattooing for way too long, honestly. I didn't do any apprenticeship at all. Started tattooing all my friends when I was real young. My mom's house. Built my first tattoo machine, started tattooing. Got a job when I was 18 because I already had a portfolio. I was already tattooing. I've been in a shop full time since 18. I worked at a reptile store too before I tattooed. That's pretty much it. Animals and tattooing is all. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. So. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started tattooing, like I said before, I was young, so like I just tattooed dumb shit on all my friends. Like literally, I think the first tattoo that I did was on my friend Matt Zwang. We were really at like 14 years old. He was Jewish too. We got in so much trouble. I tattooed your name in cursive on his ass, and then I tattooed eat me around his nipple. You don't have really good ideas when you're 14. You're a bunch of fucking idiots still. So I've got dumb shit all over me. Oh man, dude, I hate getting tattooed. Getting tattoos sucks. Uh, my next tattoo, I don't even know, dude. I kind of just like, I don't really plan anything. It just kind of happened. Like my best friend died, didn't really care to get tattooed, but obviously I had to get tattooed for that. We called him the whiz. The only thing that sucks about filming is the no music. I try to stick to just Neo Trad now. I grew up working in a, a street shop, so like I, I had to do everything. Like I wasn't allowed to like have one style growing up. Like the guy that I worked for, he made everybody that tattooed at his shop. We had to do everything. So like we had to we had to do black and gray, we had to do portraits, we had to do geo stuff, we had to do neat, like we had to do everything. You know, there was no saying no to a customer. Like you had to do it, whether it was your style or not, whether you could do it good or not. He was like, sit down, shut up and work. You know what I mean? So I didn't really have a set style growing up. And now I try to stick to like, just like Neo trad stuff. Um, now that I have like more of like a name for myself, it's allowed me to be more pick and choosy with my clients, thankfully. So I try to like stick to that style. Cause that's what I feel like I'm the best at. It's real noise, real noise. Got the FK XO. I think it's sweet camera. What? Fire. I've been using this machine for probably a year now, I would imagine. Six months to a year. This thing's banging. I love it. Dude, my favorite thing about this machine, honestly, is just, dude, the battery pack. Ooh, man, my first FK iron machine was actually coils. I think the coils were a little bit shorter on it too. Like that one back coil was like a half coil. Yeah, that thing was awesome. Super hard color packer. I'm young, I'm only 34, but I like to consider myself an old school tattooer. So even when rotaries first, people start, first started using rotaries, we were all loyal to the coil, coils to death. And uh, when the battery packs first came out, I was like, man, that's freaking weird. Like, why would I want a tattoo with a battery pack on a machine? So it was like weird at first. But dude, now I'm like, it just makes sense. It's awesome. You're so free. Just freaking, I can look, I can put it up through here. Dude, I can do all sorts of weird shit with this thing. That XO, man, the thing is awesome. And dude, dude it's the freaking future, bro. We're tattooing with batteries and shit. Like, what? It's awesome. A hundred percent. Especially being a YouTuber. Like, we do a lot of tattoo videos too, but we do like, we try to go out of the box and do like really cool videos and stuff. So like, we've done videos tattooing on the top of mountains, uh, on the beach, you know, and on a boat. Like, you can tattoo everywhere. My buddy just made a video tattooing himself on a freaking airplane. Yeah, it's fun. Like, so tight, dude. Yeah, I do. I do all sorts of things. I don't just tattoo. Um, I have a huge snake collection. I do like conservation work and education online with my YouTube channel and stuff. We stay very busy. Like I do, we do lots of things, especially when we're not here. I have cobras, rattlesnakes, vipers. I got huge lizards at home. Like I have 10 foot plus king cobras. Funny story. I, uh, yeah, I got bit by this. I got bit by King Cobra. It was a 2000, it was November, 2017. Uh, I got bit at my friend's house. I was going to his house and I was giving him a King Cobra of mine. I was getting rid of a Cobra, giving it to him. We were outside taking a couple like last pictures with the snake. He did something, spooked the snake, snake turned around, bit my finger, rushed to the hospital, life support. I was in the hospital for, I think it was nine weeks. But as soon as I got out of the hospital, I went right back to Tom's house and I picked up even more snakes. <laughs> so yeah, didn't really learn my lesson. 
Right hand, man. Does that affect you in any way? No, it actually doesn't affect my tattooing. I thought it was going to, but if I uh, put the pen over here, I hold my pen like this, you know? So it really didn't affect a whole lot. It's just like, it's just a little bit different, but not really. It's not bad. So I got super lucky. One of my friends with time was like, you should get special gloves made for you. And I was like, well, this sounds expensive. Way easier to just roll it up. I think that's cool though. Dude, I've been bit by all sorts of shit. Like I said, I got bit by a liger. Dude, I've been bit by sharks. I've been bit by alligators. It's a 1,200 pound alligator, bro. 1,200 pounds. I've been bit by fucking cobras. Dude, I've been bit by all sorts of crazy shit. Like, bad stuff. Yeah, my first rodeo, dude. <laughs> Richard! I wanna say hi to everybody, dude? I wanna say hi, I've got eyes. This is Richard, the leader dog. There was two careers that I wanted to do, you know, when I first started out. It was either a tattoo or I was gonna become a professional wiener dog trainer. Tattooing is cool, it's kind of like a speakeasy. The real business is in the back. We have this crazy wiener dog breeding mill in the back of this shop right here. And that's where the real money is at. We just kind of use the tattoo thing as like a little like front, you know, to kind of make us seem like we're legit when we make some money. But really, this is where the money's at, wiener dogs. There's Tat Gun Ty and Tyler Exotic. But you don't want to see that. We need Don Julio to come to the party and maybe uh, some other friends. Right, Rich? Rich likes to party too. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. SunshineStateTattoo.com for all other information, booking, everything. Just email us. We will help you guys out. Thank you for watching again. Until next time, guys. You're great.